Honestly, it's brilliant of you to do this. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's all right. Thank you. We met last yeah. year. A lot's happened in a year. One of the things that's happened is you've given up a lot of your personal time to help us, which I'm really grateful for. But how have you been? Um, in the last year, I've been all right. Um, there have been obviously ups and downs, um, mm. but I haven't. So I've been to a &E quite a bit, but I haven't been admitted in the okay. last year, which is really good. How's it been when you've been at a and &E? Because that's obviously one of the things we also talked about yeah. a lot with you and your colleagues. Yeah. So it, it's up and down, and I think that's the hardest part, where sometimes you can go into a and &E and it's fine. Um, mm. But I was in a and &E like two and a half weeks ago, and I still had to wait 45 minutes for my first day. Thinking about a and &E, one of the things that I think you've helped us think about a lot in the... Uh, the other colleagues on the patient advisory group is what we can do to make it easier for people when they're in crisis, yeah. which is where I think the idea of the uh, hyper-acute units has come from, yeah. which we're very excited about piloting now. How do you think that will help? Because the idea there being that you can get straight to specialist help rather than having to go through what might be a variable experience with A&E. I think it'll be very, very, very positive. And I'm actually quite excite, um, excited to hear that, that that is happening yes. because it will, you know, not having to navigate A&E and not having to speak to staff that may not understand what yeah. you're going through. And just to get to that specialist unit, that would be really, I'm, I'm really hope, like, not hoping to be sick, but yes. hoping to be able to use it yeah. <laughs> if I ever need it. So one of the things I know, again, that you've been working with us on is trying to think about how we can make sure everyone's got a digital record so that straight away people know it's death, this is what you need, and you don't have to go through all of all of that process every time. Yeah. I mean, what's your sense? You've, you've said that's important. <laughs> it is very important. Um, and so I'm very happy about that as well. It will take away a lot of the stress because sometimes it's stressful having to talk to staff members all about, you know, if like from scratch and you're just yeah. like, oh, I'm really not feeling well. I'm tired, but I have to explain my illness yeah. to you. Yeah. So that is, um, so I'm really happy that that will be happening as well. I'm just hoping one day we don't have to talk about this. 